All right. So for whatever reason, you have a disability, whether you've acquired it or you were born with it, some way, some, some reason you have a disability. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you my four tips on how to enjoy life after becoming disabled coming up next. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below, button, 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 or button below, and you know, the red button says subscribe, go ahead and click on that, and also hit the bell, get a ring-a-ding-ding -ding for a notification on the next upload, and thank you for being part of my YouTube family. I'm blessed to have you. So you have a disability. I am sorry for you that that has happened, but it's not the end of the world. You know, when I first got injured, I pretty much thought it was the end of the world. I was told to be put in a nursing home because I uh, would not would never walk again, possibly not move from my neck down. So they advised my family to put me in a nursing home because it would be too much of a burden to provide care for me, is what they told my family. And we were hard-headed, and we're still hard-headed. We didn't listen to the doctors. So let me tell you right now, you can still have a great life and how to enjoy life with four, four tips that I've found be beneficial for me. Tip one, it's okay to be pissed off about your disability. It's okay to be mad, angry, throw a hissy fit, right? So it's okay. It's okay to question why me? Why am I disabled? Why did I get disability? You know, it's okay to do that. It's okay to go into a depression, but it's not okay to stay there, all right? It's going to happen, all right? Your life has changed. Hopefully, again, it can be for the better, depending on how you view things. So, it's all right to move uh, to, to, to visit Pityville, buy the t-shirt, uh, go look around and be sorry for myself. It's okay to go visit there, but it's unacceptable to permanently move in. The quicker you get in, the quicker you get out of Pityville and head to tip number two, which is accept what's happened. The quicker you accept, the quicker you are mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually be able to heal the quicker that you can accept. When I first had my injury and I knew every day I got in my wheelchair, got in bed, got my, uh, get out of bed and got in my wheelchair, every day I knew I was paralyzed, but it took me five years to, I guess, permanently accept it finally. I mean, I was in a depression. I hid my depression from everybody. But no one, well, they did see it, but they didn't tell me. They saw through it, all right, because of the way I acted or the way I talked and everything. But I stayed in there. I stayed in Pityville way too long. You know, there's some people, they move in, see the T-shirt, move out within the first day, it seems like. Uh, me, it took a while. For other people, I know other people, it's taking longer. So... Again, the quicker you can accept, the quicker you can heal. Again, mentally, physically, spiritually. And what is the other one? Mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. All right, that you can heal and move on. Tip number three. Surround yourself with positive people that would make a difference. Now, that means your spouse, children, mom, dad, grandparents, siblings, friends, also Seek out counseling if you need it. There's nothing wrong with that. Seek an organization that's going through what you're going through and or been through what you're going through and they can give you advice on what they did. So hang around with positive people. Put yourself in a positive place as much as possible with the materials you read, with the programs you watch. You know, I try to limit myself with the news because the news is always showing negative. I, I don't care what it's always. And then they'll put in a two-minute inspiring person of the day. Psh, okay. So, so yeah, give me, give me what, 22 minutes of 
negative and then give me something to lift me up. Yeah, right. It doesn't work out that well. So I try to limit myself with newscast just to find out what's quickly going in and out and moving on. So they're just way too negative. So hang around with, again, positive as possible. Tip number four. Whatever activities you are doing before become disabled, try to try to try to do them anyway. All right, try. Before I got paralyzed, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. As I was in college playing baseball, and that's what I wanted to do the rest of my life. So got paralyzed, couldn't play baseball. Right, couldn't run the bases. Uh, you get it? Paralyzed, couldn't run the bases. Couldn't run the bases. But I got into coaching. And being involved in baseball coaching was my form of therapy that helped me move on in life. It helped me understand things. All right. You, when you become disabled, you're going to learn a lot about yourself. You're going to really surprise yourself when you figure out how strong you really are mentally and physically and emotionally. may not be physically, depending on what your disability is, but you're going to find out you're stronger than you think you are. You're going to, again, be an inspiration, which I hate using that term, uh, but you're going to, someone's going to say, you're inspiring me, all right, when really they ought to be inspiring their own selves with what they're doing. But they're going to look at you and say, you're inspiring me, all right? They're going to say, you're a motivation. You motivate me to do more, all right? So people are watching you no matter what you do. They want to see how you're handling Get some influencers to teach you how to influence other people, and you can be an influencer. Be an encourager and also help out other people. Your job after becoming uh, disabled, one thing it's going to be is you need to help the next person in life that you may find that needs help from their disability, and you need to encourage them, teach them, guide, give them some guidance, and moving on. Hey, that's my four tips. I hope to help you. Uh, in the li uh, Give me a like uh, button. Uh, give me a thumbs up for a like and everything. See, this is my good thumb. And this needs help. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. If you didn't like it, put a thumbs down. Hey, it's okay. It's cool and everything. But put in a comment on what I can do to improve and everything. Don't be shy. Be sure to subscribe. Do something today, tomorrow, something next week that's going to help you. Persevere past your paralysis.